Testimony in court today from the family of Susanna Morales. The 16-year-old vanished nearly two years ago. A former Doraville police officer now charged in her murder. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bymford live at 5 from the Gwinnett County Courthouse. Chelsea, bombshells dropped in court today, including that the defendant admittedly lied to police. Well, the defense is adamant that Miles Bryant did not kill uh, uh, Melissa Bryant, but they say that he did lie to police about uh, his firearm being stolen. In the last half hour, we also learned through a testimony of a friend that Bryant allegedly interacted with Morales at a neighborhood pool about six days before she went missing. She said Susana never arrived there. Tears fell from Maria Brand's eyes Wednesday as she told jurors what she remembered about the night her daughter, Susanna Morales, went missing. During opening statements, prosecutors said Morales walked to a friend's apartment on July 26, 2022, to smoke marijuana. It was the same apartment complex where the defendant, Miles Bryant, lived. At the time, he was a sworn officer with the Doraville Police Department. He used his badge and he used his position to satisfy his own sexual desires. He is a cop who turned into a killer. Prosecutors say at some point that night, Bryant kidnapped Morales, attempted to rape her, killed her, and then dumped her body in the woods off Highway 316. The next morning, he filed a police report claiming someone had stolen his state-issued gun. But seven months later, when investigators found Morales' remains, prosecutors say Bryant's gun was nearby. He did make a false report of his gun being stolen. The defense admitted in court Wednesday that Bryant lied about what happened to his firearm, telling jurors that by the end of the trial, they would understand why. Despite that admission, attorney Tracy Blake, who's representing Bryant, told the jury there's no evidence he actually killed the teenage girl. It is fine to hate Miles Bryant. You can hate him all you want. However, I'm going to ask you to return a verdict that holds him accountable for his actions but it's not murder. And prosecutors also said today that cell phone data places Bryant at the same scene where Susanna's body was found in the hours after she went missing. The defense argues, though, that that does not prove he killed her. Reporting live in Gwinnett County, Chelsea Bymfor, Atlanta News First.